What is up, you guys, and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video. As you can see, we are in a 2000 model, you know, Ford Mustang SVT Cobra. Now, there, there's something pretty neat about this vehicle that you can do with an engine swap. Now, I'm sure some of you out there have seen this, and, you know, I, I want to try it out. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be diesel swapping the Ford Mustang right here. I know, I know, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and hop in the car, drive it around, see how it does, you know, with the motor that's in it right now i'm am in photo mode and you know i was just kind of taking a good look at the car i would say it's pretty clean but look i kind of cruised down my driveway right here and look it, it's just it's filthy now so we're gonna go ahead and hop in it let's go ahead and go back here yes exit photo mode and we're gonna drive this thing around now we're gonna see how it drifts right now you know before we get started with you know building this whole drift build now we did do the f450 in yesterday's video and you guys really enjoyed that and you know that truck did pretty good um i think it needs more power though so i think what i'm going to do with it is go with a different motor so what we're going to do we're going to cruise around in the old mustang real quick kind of see how it does let's see we are actually at our house too we did get a house so that's pretty cool okay let's kind of drive this thing around see how it does okay see it already is drifting pretty good and that's good that i feel like it's going to be pretty easy to make this car drift, especially when we throw that big diesel motor in this thing. All the torque that thing has, it's going to be crazy. Now, once we get that diesel motor in the car, I think what we're going to do, we're going to kind of leave it set up how it is right now, and then go ahead and, you know, cruise it around and see, just see what it does. Oh, man, this thing's actually drifting really, really good, though. All right, so here we are. We are about to get started working on the Mustang. So what we need to do, I think we need to go ahead and go into upgrades. And tuning we're gonna go ahead and go to custom upgrade and look but we're going straight to the conversion right here the engine conversion you see engine swap drivetrain swap and then your aspiration so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to engine swap here and find this diesel engine there it is right there 6.7 v8 turbo diesel so that is what's going in the car as far as horsepower let's see what this will be making so the power of the car so it's saying we'll have 475 horsepower once we do put that motor in the car so that, that's really cool let's see what the car has right now so 385 is what it has and 385 foot pounds of torque so let's go back to the diesel motor look at the difference you guys 475 horsepower with a thousand fifty foot pounds of torque that, that, that's that's going to be crazy it's going to really help us to drift this thing around it's going to make breaking those tires loose a lot easier let's go ahead and choose that engine right there so how much was that? i think that was twenty thousand dollars and drivetrain we are set up on rear wheel drive and that's what we want you know i might try to build an all-wheel drive drift car too before long that, that would be pretty cool all right so now we have our drift tire compound selected there now on the width of the tires i'm not going to mess with that too too much i think it you know i think that would be okay as far as your rim size we're going to go ahead and go up to a 20 in the front and a 20 in the rear go ahead and up that a little bit now the stock wheels i think look pretty good so we are just going to leave those on you know what? or should we change them i don't know you guys they they I feel like they look pretty good, but I'm going to kind of look through here, and if I see something that I think just looks way better, we'll, of course, go with that. All right, so I did go ahead and change the wheels. I think these look pretty good. I mean, I don't know. I really do like these stock wheels, too, but I think we're just going to leave these, you know, kind of go for that drift look somewhat. So we're going to use those, and now as far as the tire width, I am going to move the fronts out just a little bit right there. Actually, I think that's the most you can go. Yeah, we're going to do that, of course. Now the rear, let's see, we're going to go out just a little bit. So we're going to go to that one right there. So it's not as far out in the front, but that front track width is going to be pretty wide. I feel like that will help us, you know, with stability and handling when we are drifting this car. All right, you guys, so let's just take a moment to look at what the power ratings are of the car right now. So as you can see, the power is 1,049 horsepower with 2,319 foot-pounds of torque. Now look at the weight of the car. 3,900 pounds, making 1,000 horsepower. All right, you guys, so our total come out at $83,000, and I think we are ready to go ahead and pay for that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to look at the final like horsepower of this engine. Let's just go to turbo, just something you know that allows us to see. So 1,049 with 2,319 foot-pounds of torque. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and install this setup right here, just like that. So negative 83,000 coming up. All right, you guys, here we go. Our first drive with the diesel swap drift Mustang. Man, and I can honestly say this thing looks so, so good. Now, I do actually want to go into the paint real quick and go ahead and put some window tint on this car. I did forget about that. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then we're going to be ready to go. All right, now, as you can see, we got the windows a lot darker there, so that's looking a lot better. So here we go. Our first drive with the drift thing here. So let's see. Make sure nothing's coming. I hear some vehicles coming. I don't want to get hit in this thing. All right, here we go. 
does not sound like I thought it would sound, um, but it is diesel swap. Oh my goodness, I can't, I'm just spinning. Wow, uh, we were just spinning right there. Man, too much horsepower, is that even a thing? I guess so. Look at it though, it's drifting pretty good. All right, here we go, finally on some pavement, and let's see what this thing will do. Oh man, fifth gear right there, just pulling the tires with no problem. Okay, seventh gear, maybe it likes seventh gear. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh man, just roasting those tires like nobody's business. It actually handles really, really good. Let's see. That diesel engine, man, it's really working with all that torque. We are making so much torque with that shit crazy. May have to adjust some of our gearing just a little bit just to make this thing, you know, not run out of gear so much. Okay, just an example of how much torque this car does have now. Look, we're in seventh gear at a dead stop. Okay, I thought somebody was about to hit me. Oh, okay. So look at this, you guys. Watch this, watch this. We will just boil the tires from sitting still. Look at this. Look at that, man. Barely. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not hit that. I hit this? Oh, well, we did hit the sign. I mean, you don't even have to shift. You could just stay in seventh gear all the time. As much torque as this car makes. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. I'm just staying on rev limiter, basically. Ooh, we just unlocked a Formula Drift car by doing our perks on this Mustang. So we're going to have to definitely check out this car. Maybe attack that mountain. You know, the really, really fun one that has all the curves. Definitely going to have to bring this one to it. All right, you guys. So we have made it to the top of the mountain, finally. And I, I guess I got to get better at driving or something. Because look how all of my vehicles end up. Oh, I thought they were going to hit us. Look how all of my vehicles end up by the time we get here. Yeah, looking a little rough. Is there any way to repair the vehicle while we're up here? I'm not sure if you can. Let's see. I don't think so. Maybe if you change the car, maybe have the car re-delivered to you, maybe it will look better. I may try that. Now you can see I did go ahead and have the car re-delivered to me. That way we could start, you know, fresh here and not have to drive a damaged car all the way down this mountain. So we can make it around without hitting anybody. I think we are, let's see, yeah, this is two lane. So we're just going to have to kind of stay to our right here. See, see if we can go ahead and hit seventh gear. I feel like that's really gonna help us going down. Oh man, we're a little off roading right there. Let's see, we're gonna try to keep it on the road. Yeah, man, this thing actually does drift really, really good. I did adjust some of the gearing just a little bit, just to kind of make it to where we didn't, you know, run out of seventh gear so quickly. I feel like sixth gear is gonna be enough, especially going downhill though. Oh, see, 7th actually saved us right there. So I feel like it's going to be, yeah, 6th and 7th. Oh, kind of messed up a little bit there. Okay, it's already doing better than the F450 did, though. See, right lane challenge. I wonder if we could stay in just the right... Uh-oh, uh-oh. I did not set up good for that, that turn right there. It would help if I would, like, watch the map and actually see what's coming up. Okay, okay. We got a left turn coming up here. There's a car coming. Let's see. Stay to this right lane. Yeah, okay. We dodged him pretty good. I don't know if there's going to be anybody else, but we'll try to dodge him if there he is. Going to try to stretch out this straightaway. Uh oh, oh, there's a car coming. Okay, missed him. Oh, yeah, we did that pretty good there. Man, I actually am really, really enjoying this car. Okay, we did that okay. Let's see. Might get a pretty good skill chain, too. Maybe we'll unlock some wheel spins. Gonna go to 7th there. And this car is so much fun to drive. I'm pretty sure you can just go ahead and go buy this from the auto show. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, like I said, I did win it in the wheel spin there. What are we at? 27,000? I wonder if we could hit at least like 50 by the time we get to the bottom of this mountain. I'm not sure. Hopefully we can, though. Honestly, the only thing I wish would, that was different with this car is that it actually sounded like a diesel engine rather than just, you know, a regular gasoline-powered, you know, V8. 
Oh, see, we, we got somebody in front of us here. So we can maneuver around them. Stretch out this curve pretty good. Let's see, maybe I can go to the outside here. I don't see anybody else coming. Oh, we, we bumped him a little bit. Yeah, he's probably not happy about that. Sorry, bud. Just a little drifting here. Man, we are flying 90-something miles an hour right now. Use that e-brake. Man, it feels so good drifting down this mountain. If you guys haven't checked out this mountain, be sure to... Oh, man, the, the, the dude passed us back. Oh, we got to catch him. It'll be kind of hard, though, being that we are just drifting. So we may be a little slower than he is. <laughs> See, that was a nice little run right there. Go and go to seventh. Man, that guy really sped up just then. Oh, oh. Willie's Jeep. Let's not hit that. Okay, thank goodness. So we can stretch this curve out right here. XP board, don't guess I'll be getting that right at the moment since we are trying to make our way down this mountain. We might actually pass that guy back up. I'm not sure though. There we go. Up. Oh, are we going to pass him? No, we almost passed him though. I'm really determined to try to pass this guy. I don't think it's going to happen though because every time it's like I get close to him, he just speeds up. I think that is just a drive a I don't think that's an actual person. All right, I think we pretty much made it to the bottom for the most part. Let's take a look back at the mountain. So that's where we just came from. Yeah, I think we pretty much have made it to the bottom now. Really, really nice curvy roads there for drifting. Oh, let's not hit that person. Ooh, that was a Formula Drift car, I think. Yeah, we do now own one of those. I forgot about that from the wheel spin. If you guys did enjoy this video of the Diesel Swamp Mustang Drift Build, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I hope to see you guys in the next one.